Okay, well, hi. Um, welcome back to our regular show. We're so excited to be here with you on today, Tuesday, September 6th, I guess. Happy Labor Day. Um, and here we are. So it's your regular gang of miscreants. Hello, hello. To about that, you know, that guy that we still incredibly uh, listen to. I will tell you all, though, that I did um, record an interview today with this guy called um, Yuzi. And um, he was really fun in that Irish comedian sort of way. And, uh -huh. it, was a, uh -huh. and it was just kind of a goof. And we had a lot of fun. And um, hopefully you guys will like it. And I will post a link to it on our site. Did he know who you were? Um, he actually, Carl reached out to me and said, Yuzi really wants to interview you. Can you oh. please follow him on Twitter? Malone, and not not Amber. So this guy's Irish, beyond. Yeah. <laughs> so did you talk about you potatoes? About? We did not talk about potatoes. No. Potatoes. <laughs> He's one of those guys who's like very into wrestling porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, whiskey. Wrestling porn together. Wrestling porn. Wrestling comma porn comma drugs. <laughs> So I, I've, I, the guy's a piece of work. He would have been a, he would have been a great whack packer back in the day. If time were different, he's a, he's a Did piece the of work. Porn include potatoes. No, <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> boy. He had whiskey. <laughs> whiskey. Oh, it was lots of fun, and I changed out of what I was wearing because I put on my morning black. Um, uh, your morning black. My morning oh, Howard. Morning black. Disgust me. You know, we could all be in mourning for Rest in Peace Ben Stern, which we were all wondering how long it would take for him to get to it this morning. And, of course, it bore fruit, and he waited like a solid half hour. He needed Ooh. to talk about fucking Trump, which, of course, then... Lazy radio. Lazy radio. So started trending on Twitter, I just noticed, as I um, went on to the the twat machine a little bit earlier and he was trending and i think it was trump related so it's so weird i mean the show is so, shit with nobody cares babe but it was one of those shows where he was all over the place like complete ocd yeah. oh, there was That's an underlying get that theme no, yeah. there's there was an underlying theme that he's a victim that was the underlying That's theme. Always, That's always the narrative theme. always but, the narrative but, it was super it was super elevated today because every time he went to Ben, he he twisted and became the victim. Oh. Talk about his mom. Twisted and became the victim. And then about you know, how everything. beautiful Beth is in the middle of talking about Ben. I mean, just everything right. about it was weird. <laughs> and he's still a victim. And crazy. And you know, you just realize that after being off, what did we count? Sixty seven days? Sixty seven days. Yeah. So after we realized that he's been off for sixty seven days, you think that he'd come back like something or with something new to say but it's just so lazy you're exactly right xavier it's, it's just lazy radio radio and you know he's just gonna call it in until it's time to check out i think that's that's all we got so um so yeah so welcome back to our nightmare which is the great american nightmare and not only that keep in mind does he have like a staff of a thousand people 70 70, yes. 70 people you can tell me in in 70 days, they can concoct one semi funny bit. I mean, it's it's the phoning it in and laziness is like it's like Hall of Fame proportions at this point. Yeah, but but you know, 28 minutes in, he did announce that it was a comedy show. He actually did say that. <laughs> yeah. it's it's a comedy show. Show. Let me uh, let me identify the genre here. This is a uh, comedy it's show. A comedy show. <laughs> That's Jesus, been so funny. Funny. What's the comedy about it? Live into Ben Stern. With RG having several weeks away, did all of you meet to discuss anything you're changing, doing differently with the show? Just curious. No, the only thing that has changed with this show is that uh, Dennis and I finally like sat here for about two minutes prepping before the show so that I can tone myself down so I don't look like uh, somebody said on YouTube, like a, um, like it's a hostage video. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I realized the reason I'm so big is treating us good. Yes. I have a 30 <laughs> monitor, so it's huge and it casts so much light onto <gasps> um, my face. So there was nothing I could do about it, except now I've dimmed it like super, super low. And so I'm probably going to need my glasses. My yeah. monitor is 37 inches. So I want to have one up. Just hey -oh. <laughs> so, By the way, Monique, how great would it be if you gave Hughesy the Irish exit and a little taste of his own medicine? Nice. <laughs> so, uh, Dropped out in 20 minutes. So Gina, Gina Bobina. Yes, that is, that is Ben with a young Howard 
young Howard Stern. Right young, there. slightly pudgy Howard. And, and, you know, Ben was so uncool and uncaring, they both had matching sunglasses because, you know, he just did, never did anything with Howard at all. Just, yeah, you know, the shot of every abused kid you yeah, have ever met, every, every neglected friend you ever had. That's No love. Like no that. love at all. No, no love. love. So he's like, gonna, like ahead, he's like Tiny Tim working for Cole. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so he, like I said, he was all over the place. I did concentrate on the um, Ben stuff simply because that's what we've been talking about. That's and right. we didn't really want to be remiss if we went directly into him talking about the Bachelorette, um, Ben and J-Lo, or um, how Gary plays Pickleball. So that's pretty much what the rest of the show was. You missed absolutely nothing if you didn't. Comedy miss. gold. It Comedy was. gold right oh, yeah. there. Absolutely. Um, so My sides were hurting. Without further ado, right? let's just yuck, listen yuck, to yuck. the opening of the show and what it sounded like and how he was first. In this so here we go. We're shut right out of the fucking cannon. Yeah, I took his hand. And oh, no, no, that's not it. I'm so sorry, sorry. No, oh, that's not it, no. Turn. Yeah, he really wants to be there. So, of course, it goes yeah. on like this. There is no mention about what he did on vacation. Well, I'll play yep. you actually what he said about what he did on vacation, which is really going to thrill you guys to no end. Never mind. Hey, just for one second. Everybody remember, he's still at the same physical building he had the vacation. He's in. not left the building. So it's mm-hmm. not like he it's like if, if you could do a show from Walt Disney World. Well, then, yeah, he's that's a good point. On vacation. He's vacationing well, no, no, no. from a vacation of a vacation of exactly. a vacation. Exactly. Thank Sorry, you. You don't understand. He actually went to a different wing. Oh, so, you know, they, silly they, they stayed at a different wing in the house. Silly like oh, he, gets, nice he gets he gets travel miles too. for that too. Buckwall tra- tra- <laughs> right off. He, he doesn't <laughs> even see the inside of that office. He space. put a different pair of bowling shoes on. <laughs> I bet you he doesn't even bowl. I bet you he doesn't even. I bet you Consuela has to bowl. Off some fucking bowling ball. You know why? You know why? Because bowling ball, balls are black, and he's afraid of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> black balls. Uh, come, come on, that's that, that, to look for black balls. Exactly. He's <laughs> terrified of anything black. That lane's for his best bro, Scott the engineer. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's solely yeah. for Scott. Yeah. That lane, that bowling lane. Please, you know exactly. what? He has liquor at a bar there. He doesn't drink. He has a bowling alley. He doesn't bowl. You know, he has a wine cellar. He doesn't wine. I mean, it's he just, does wine. He has an ocean. He doesn't swim. He <laughs> doesn't swim. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. He probably never leaves like, even dips. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous man. <laughs> Asshole. Um, I'm gonna go through some of these comments too while we're here and before we're starting. Our Hi, break. number. You're so right. That Aerosmith album, "Permanent Vacation," never more applicable to anyone than Howard. That's <laughs> I think about that title all the time. Permanent vacation. He's always on vacation. Okay, so um, vacation solution. So he decides to go a half hour into Trump, and then probably what around the 22 minute mark, 23 minute mark is when yeah. he just casually. Casually mentioned Ben, um, but before that, here let's hear what you know. Remember back in the day when we used to listen to the Stern Show, and we all mm-hmm. tuned in after he was on vacation, even if it was just for a week, so mm-hmm. that we hear exactly how his vacation went and what he, how he spent his vacation. Who he saw, so, what he did. Here's right. what we get now. Anything but. So he did nothing. But... He did nothing. Nothing. Zero point zero. And and who would tell him to plan things out? He lives on a gorgeous beach, yeah. in a gorgeous house with a gorgeous pool. He could go anywhere. He could do anything. He yep. could be cruising, you know, in the in um in the Greek islands, and he could be in Croatia like, with, with with somebody packing for him, making all the arrangements, yeah. flying him there. Oh, no. Doesn't have to lift a finger. Exactly. Even. Even and bigger. At the very least, he could ride Beth up and down the beach, you know, exactly. horses all the time. Just like in Planet of the Apes. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> picking up balloons in her teeth. So, yeah, exactly. you know, he could, he was, you know, you think it's small. He could just take a private plane to a private island. Yes. And the only person yes. on the island. Yes. Yes. Anything. Literally. Anything you you know Anything. you call yourself an artist and basically all you do is walk out of your house and look <laughs> at things that are around you but you have yet to ever go to the Ifutsi or to the <laughs> or to, or to, um, a moose blue shit the Ifutsi elephant in the room go to Louvre I mean elephant in the room Howard no. has a crippling phobia of leaving his house yes. he has not left his house for, for almost well, the entire, since he's got there. 
You're he, you're right, X. But he's a he's that a crippling a phobia of civilians. He's yeah. not dude, X. If, that would be a fascinating show if he talks about the just the crippling fear of leaving his house. Yeah, that turn it into a phobia. Yeah, that would be mental really health interesting. Show. Well, yeah, the thing said, is though, he yeah. did leave his house. He went to his other house. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know what? They probably put him in one of those giant hamster balls. And they rolled them. <laughs> they rolled them into the fucking into the airplane. And he's like bubble boy. But like, no, no joking. He no, has it's a like crippling phobia of leaving his house at this point. Think, yeah, think about that. Think about that opening Monique just played. I'm, I'm sorry, Neek just played. Uh, sorry, Melvin. And uh, try pa try packaging that little gold mine to a podcast company now and going, yes, this is going to be the next big thing without his name. Listen to how shitty that opening was. Could you imagine thinking that works for anybody else but him? This show is whatever he wants it so, to be, and that's how he starts. So, that's so I could just see them like putting him in carbonite like that Han Solo, and that's how they move him. And then Frost. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Night. Solo. Sleep, girl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god, I just got that visual. Totally. Exactly. Right. It's hilarious. So, um, that is pretty so awesome, yeah, actually. so twenty-two minutes or so. He's no good in to be dead. He just mentions he just mentions Ben in passing, which is yeah. right here. I feel like okay, so that was the preface, but I feel like a lot of what he did, and I mentioned it in the listening um thread today, that I felt like half of what he was saying was very like sticky, like he was building up a story. You know, like the guy yeah, who like, played the clarinet, and then he yeah, like a crescendo or yep. it's something. It was just weirdly written, F framed, and framed. presented, and yeah, it's, it's kind of it's almost like remember that uh, Howie Mandel show, and we will get to that right after this. Like yeah, somehow, yeah, was, everything's like a somehow, constant tease. Everything's like a cliffhanger. The mystery like briefcase with a million dollars in it. Exactly. Go ahead. It was. It was. It was very actually schizophrenic would be a word for it because it was kind of like it was no focus on anything. It was just None. kind of like manic, ADD ish. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's just literally like ADD. like a like like an ADD kid that you just gave like you know ten pounds of jelly beans to and then a coke. Right. Well, he does that because he can. He has no quality control. He has nobody no. telling him no. He does that because he can. He doesn't know what good radio is anymore. So then he segues into talking about his father and um, just kind of casually mentions that he did a documentary with his dad. So I, I didn't really put in like anything from the documentary, but this is just him talking about it. And then I want to talk about it on the other side. I wish I was talking to my father. I interviewed him for a documentary I made for my children. I said, well, my father still got half a brain. Let me talk to this guy. I'm putting down on tape. So that can tell future generations of Sterns. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> don't you think, do you remember when he interviewed Ben Stiller last year? Yeah. And yeah. said he did a documentary of his father and he's just started recording um Ben Stiller, who of course was a famous person, and was. to mm -hmm. just record it for his for himself and for his right. children and stuff like that. Absolutely, he got the idea of doing that from Ben Stiller last year. That's a great point by you because there really is nobody in show business that obsesses over their parents more than Ben Stiller is the only one I can think of that obsesses over his parents more than Howard does. As that is example. as a brand. Yeah. His yes. Was very old when he died too. Yes. So so yes, so basically that's... Howard Howard was interviewing Ben in the last year. I I, I don't know. He said he I, made I mean, that, that's it, awful it, because there was no I mean, context. He was... There was no context to it, but I, you know, insane. you know, it with a lot of old people, and I find this to be true. Um, so I, I wouldn't doubt that this happened, and not that he actually did anything for it, as opposed to just zooming with his dad. But um, you know, a lot of older people like to uh, remember things in the past. It's easier than living mm -hmm. in the present. Yeah. And so it may have been an actual easier thing to do than to. Uh, you know, than for Ben to blather at his son. I don't know. You know, I'm just supposing this, but I, I have no idea. Um, Davi, it, it, it almost sounds too ambitious for him with his wig and hands to even have any kind of recording device and, and do that. It's yeah. almost, you know, he's, he's almost too lazy to even do that. I don't even buy it on that level. Sorry, David is mentioning Wolfie von Pound Cake, so I want to mm -hmm. just do it. <laughs> That's poor Wolfgang. Wolfgang, Wolfgang Mayhem will turn the tables on Howard and ask him, were you around with your dad at the end, or were you too busy with your own thing? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good, 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 good. 
Get He'll never be on the show again. Don't worry. Um, uh, okay. Wait, is Wolfie going to be on the show? No, I don't think so oh, ever again. Oh, no. It's I don't a, think I so ever again. Something. Um, so I was listening to, just as I was going through things, I, I just heard this. Does it sound like something was dropped, like that there was a seven second delay here? Nobody mentioned it on the listening thread, but I don't know if it is or not. But just listen and tell me what you think. It's only 14 seconds, so listen closely. And you gotta deal with morons. And this is the level our country's at. We can have a lot of morons. Let's have an honest and frank discussion about it. I've had some time to think about it over the summer. My wife does animal rescue. Yeah, she yeah, she she does. 100%. What did he Dead or Dave. The summer. What? My wife does. Right? Is that Fred? Yeah, I was like, weird. Is it Fred Mumble? I, I thought I heard the beginning of There You Go, and then it cuts off. Yeah, that's no secret. It was just a weird drop. Can we get one more time, please? Just one more yeah, time. Okay. Let's go. Hang on. Let me pull it back a little bit. I, I interpreted yeah. Monique. I, I heard I'm doing Doctor Doom for Kevin Feige. That's what came out of that for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll definitely. So, that. was that? I have a question. So, was that part re pre-recorded and then they kind of spliced it like shit? It sounds like could, something could be like, Dennis. There's monkey that business spliced. for sure. And that was that yeah. was um, live this morning. That was, no, that no, 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 no. But that rant. That was the end of the Orange Man bad rant from the idiot. And that was the end of it right there. And all of a sudden it cut off. And then he's talking about well, Beefus. Yeah. And it was just really strange. It is because... weird. Okay, let's hear it again. I'm yeah. going to put a Monkey little business. Thank you, Zach. Because I thought I zoned Welcome out. back, Zach. That's why I didn't comment. Because I Welcome actually back, thought I was just Zach. Zoned. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Thanks. He's such a sweet guy. He's... Here we go. Let's listen. You gotta deal with morons. And this is the level our country's at. We can have a lot of morons. Let's have an honest and frank discussion about it. I've had some time to think about it over the summer. My wife does animal rescue. That's just... weird, Sounds right? like he called Beth yeah, a moron. So Jer Jeremy's is... right does sound like Fred Jeremy Harrelson. I agree. Yeah, yes, I, I think so too. I yeah. just I just think it was a cut in from something. It just sounded hundred percent. Right. I, I I honestly think because he only has what ninety seconds of delay. That yeah. that that's not even ninety seconds of change. Oh, thank of you. I will keep the compliment where I can get it from my boyfriend KC. Agreed, um, Gubanelli. And no doubt that's a dump. It is a dump. Okay, I would but, just but is it a cut or a dump? Because he only has ninety yeah, seconds. He has ninety seconds. Do we of delay. cut or do we dump? That's the question. I don't know, maybe you dump. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> so. I, I didn't do that to Yuzi today. <laughs> <laughs> you should have. That would have been great. Oh, Yuzi's just a cute name with a cute. Name. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been perfect. All right, got my so lucky charms. So, so again, he's continuing with his Trump dump, and he talks about stupid people but listen to what stupid man says when he's talking about stupid people i found this fascinating here we go because he's stupid yes listen but you know the public is stupid people are just dumb a lot of people are like Cro-Magnon man okay that's not a word <laughs> that's not a word that is not part is of the evolutionary word. cycle Cro-Magnon man Cro-Magnon yes. man <laughs> Like he's he's going to on and on really call everybody like, stupid and then stupid mispronounce yes. Cro <laughs> and he has the balls to say Cro Magni man. No, a lot of people are like Cro Mangan man. Mangan <laughs> man. You ever see that chart? One? That's not so a nice. word. He legit fucked that up too. It wasn't him doing that reductive thing where he mispronounces no. it deliberately. No, that's him not. Yeah, not that's knowing. him not knowing it. Him just you know what an asshole. 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 What a fucking I just found that interesting. I don't know. I, I no, nah, good catch by you. I, I would. I yeah. missed you know it why? because I listened to the show all fucking day long. <laughs> it's like oh. you know, of course, oh. because I had that interview today, so I had to shower. So there was that, and then I had to come back here and listen Cold to the magnet. show. From Mega Man. No, I was zoning out at this point. I was literally so zoned out. Oh God, I'm, I'm like, sure. I'm sure. So fucking, he starts to talk can't start about drinking this, at seven thirty. Right. He's talking about his father. He's talking about going over there and talking to him. Um, I guess he was already in hospice care and that how, you know, Ben was talking about how, um, you know, you look like somebody famous, like he didn't know who he was or something like that. And he uses that opportunity. Wait, you mean to tell me that Ben wasn't ordering DoorDash? <laughs> yeah. bullshit? Apparently for oh his birthday, God. he ate a half of Nathan's hot dog. So that was like a, you know, real. Yeah, but he was in. He called the CEO. He was he was in Ooh. hospice. Thank you, Ida. Yes. So he was yes, in hospice. I, I, and his I, I, birthday is when in July? What, July like hmm. 7th or 10th? Yeah, it's like early, right, right beginning, yeah. July so 11th. He's, 11th. Oh, July 11th. So he's there July. mocking him, telling him you should like, you know, make him live in a really awful place where he has to eat off the floor. And he was doing that in the end of June. Yes. And he's pretty much going into hospice at yes. that point. Yeah. Yes. That's wow. What a sociopath. You can tell that he was going into yeah. hospice. Like we were all oh, yeah, talking you knew about that. his 
sundowning and all that stuff that was going on and the medication he was on. So the writing was on the wall for but, sure. Right. Mm -hmm. before That's making. sociopathic behavior, like That's on a level that just can't be described. Yes, of course. But let's talk about how hot Beth is while my father's dying. Not so much not all men are apex predators, you fucking douche. No, his like, friends are, Monique. Yeah. Who, who do you but think? Like, Sarah's list of 200. Like, thrusting their fucking yep. pieces in her I, face. I have, I have never witnessed that. Like, I mean, no, I understand what he's saying. I have witnessed but no, that. No, but I mean, it's that's the, really... Men, to men, a lot of times, men tend to lead discussions with their dicks. They yes. Tend, they well, tend to, yeah. <laughs> guilty as charged. <laughs> guilty, yes. <laughs> Especially face to face, they kind of like lean into their hip sway. It's what, not what? a conscious thing. I think that men do. Um, yeah, but the way he's talking, it's like either like there's like they're like it's like grinding. Well, yes, he's making oh, yeah. it obvious and disgusting. <laughs> exactly. But, With yeah, him. Okay, so let's continue. Like if I was at a wedding or some or a party, and I'd see them move in and go, "Oh, hey, who are you?" And you know, for her. No, no, I'm kind of pushed to the side. Like, uh, I'm pretty famous. I mean. No, you know, you guys aren't listening. See, he, this is this is classic Howard. Classic Howard uses his bully pulpit, which is this thing right here, to fuck with people. So this is what he's saying here. Not that he's crazy, like he's going to go after somebody or, or fuck with them, but he will talk about it. Here we go. Yeah. I'm pretty famous. I mean, plus I'm also crazy. So you think they think about it? Yeah, I, think about it. I, think, you know, I can go off and mention their names. And <laughs> yeah, so I can ruin their lives by saying that they what that they they're what they're into the bestiality. They didn't know the bestiality was the horses exactly. <laughs> but he's not leaving the house, the 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 the, 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 the uh, area code, I should say. But yet, he's everyone in the, the house, Hamptons bro. is dry is dry humping Beth dry on a regular he basis. He is not leaving the house, so this is all bullshit. And to, I mean. <laughs> He's established the fact that Beth only worth is that she might be desirable for a bang by someone else. That's is the only value yeah. she brings to Howard's life. This is and right Beth, in line with Beth Strionic personality disorder X. Everything is even the fucking beast like, thing is Beth Strionic personality. Oh, yeah. There's Jesus, another Jesus, one, Monique, we can add to the list. The, the fucking B thing. thing. So what's Enough. so funny? B Strionic. It was so funny is that the beast thing did not get mentioned today as as such a major event in Beefus's yeah. life, it was not right. mentioned. Yeah, well, not mentioned we, at all. Not a second of it. It's just already on her an angel and a It was important to talk about Benifer. Um, So <laughs> talking about that as a slight segue is the fact that they're the only ones still left in their homes. This is just a really quick clip. So hang on. Uh, let me tell you. Being, you know, my wife and I are the only two people who haven't come out of hiding. Like I've often said we're like the Japanese after the war, after World War II. There were a couple of guys who hung out in the jungle for 25 years, thinking the war was still going on. Yeah, yeah by the way, don't let him fool you. His wife is out and about doing that. Oh, all the time. Thank you, Miss Beaver House. Just look at, look at Jessica Seinfeld's uh, Instagram. You. You'll see. It's on Instagram. It's out there dumping cats in That's the middle right. of highways, you know, on rest <laughs> stops. <laughs> Jer no, Jersey, oh, exactly. She was, IV. she was dumping off a cat, wasn't she? Yes. Right. Yes. It was, it was like Jersey like Turnpike. Two hours later, it was dumping a cat off. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's there's talk like about a, the there's like fentanyl player. transactions going going down ten feet from them. <laughs> let's talk about the clarinet player because you know he's talking oh, about this guy that was in the hospice when his father was laying there and he was just playing clarinet to his dad. And I just wanted to talk about something really quick on this. Hang on. Okay. You know, I, you know, I was so busy focused on my father. I didn't get this guy's name, but I thought, wow, this guy, I mean, what do we have on this planet? All we have is our time, and our time is limited, and it's running out. And this guy takes his time and plays clarinet to my father in his hospital room. I mean, I didn't call my father stone deaf, but he can't hear anything. Actually, I can't. I don't know my father hates clarinet. I didn't want to tell him that. You know what I mean? He's funny. Oh, my God. Well, but yeah, I, I had to play. My father bought me clarinet. I was horrible at it. I remember he was just like, but, 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 but you're both you a clown, up, and you're not even playing it right. You don't even practice those $200. Like all you abuse kids, but pianos, clarinets, your dad's just playing a random instrument. In 1965, exactly. you yep. ready? $200 in 1965 Oof. is $1,885 in spending power today. That's He's so abused. Ouch. What an abused child. Right now, there's a kid in Bangladesh saying, Daddy, that guitar, I don't want to play it. <laughs> can we play that, Daddy? Can you we can get the clarinet? This giant, it was Benny Goodman was playing for his dad. So There you go. <laughs> Is Ra Ralph in the skin flute? <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Let me see what this uh, 
this he do? I looked that book up. Is Howard is wrong? The book appears to be about a soldier who refused to surrender. Yeah, no, that's that is absolutely a true story. Yeah. Because, so it's somewhere in like the Philippines or like on one yeah. of those like weird Little islands, islands. In the outskirts of like Japan, there was a uh, like a soldier that was on an island. He didn't know the war was over. Who yep. didn't? You're right. So yeah. That, oh yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. Story. They made fun of that on uh, or pointed out on Happy Days. I remember. Oh, did oh, yeah, they? Just say that I remember. That. Wow, you remember a Happy Days episode? Yeah. Hey, sit on it, Monique. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to some sticky Howard. Oh, in Gilligan's just, Island. It's just really weird. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> that, that, that is just that, that is just conflated oh, Gilligan's Island, Island and Happy. Yeah. No, no, no. It was both. It was actually they both did it. That's that's yeah, a guy, quite a few people have made reference to that trope, yeah, dude. All right, let's go to shtick. Here we go. Hang on. This is his last phase on Earth, and I'm telling him, like, our relationship is basically a failure, and all of a sudden, you know, I'm going to communicate for a living. I, I couldn't communicate. Where's the guy with the clarinet? Bring him back in here. No. Oh, oh, oh. No. Whipping it around 15 minutes later to talk about the clarinet guy. He definitely wrote that out. Like, he, that's that's not something that he does no. organically. He, so... he's, he wrote this out as shtick, kind of. It's yeah, so this is the comedy part of the show. Okay. Oh, is that what it is? No, he's a communicator, Dennis. He's a communicator. He communicates oh, now. That's what he's oh. communicating with us on the show. That's what this told us. I don't know who we had on as a guest one day, but who told us, or somebody said that he started to um, do like opening bits for the show. Like he was just stuttering, John. Yeah. He would do stuttering, John, for the show. Yep. And. Um, this is what I feel like he's doing now. Like I, I feel like he put a really almost too much thought into trying to make uh, his father dying, you know, both humorous and sad, and you know everything at the same time. And oh, you know, Howard, you tug at all my emotions. I don't know if it'll laugh or and cry. He, and, he managed, and he managed to bring out none. None. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now, number two. <laughs> Can't get off of that track. Cannot get off of that that dad track. Can't you just love him and be happy that you had no, 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 no. with him? No. High number, so true. Ultimately, he is a fucking cornball, and we were all duped. Couldn't agree more. Cornball, but would cornball would would kind of tote that he was somebody that was like lovable yet goofy and something. Yeah. Like that. He was never that person. Yeah, that's Every true. Every good show that you ever love on TV, every fucking one of them, from Seinfeld to Breaking Bad to everything, you are are meant to dislike the people you love the most on that show. And that is exactly... But you're rooting for people doing bad things. You're Somehow they've won you over. Yeah, so we um, rooted for yep. Howard to tell people to go fuck themselves and yep. a it's a, car accident it's a, and your mother dies of AIDS and we're going to bury your fucking bones and, you know, and... and eat them or something yes you know I mean? yep we um we kind of relished the hate that he had for other people and he's a despicable fucking person and uh, you yep. know it's going to fully manifest itself as he gets older that we we did dislike him but we loved disliking him because he was supposed to be that dick he was, he was counter he was counterculture he was anti-establishment we we, yeah. we liked the fact that he pointed out the hypocrisy of yes. politicians of hollywood yep. of the rich people we thought he was one of, you know, one of the one of the games. He's, not, he's never one. But he was a just complete line bullshitter. Yeah, he was a he was bullshit artist. So yeah. you know, I was wondering though, it ran through my head. Did Melissa Melissa Rivers come and do the <laughs> eulogy at his defense? <laughs> 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 Louis C.K. write the jokes for her. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Ben's dick and. Uh, it was kind of weird. It was um. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me get into this one, um, and we'll talk about it. I just, I just can't fathom. And I just wrote this on Twitter too. The kind of the verbatim, the verbatim of this. Um, they just found it very. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Homo. Look, how how Homo. is it that you're getting praise for doing something that any other human, like human would do on the planet would do? Like, how is it? Oh, that guy, that's so sweet. <gasps> you kissed your father. That's amazing. Well, no, no. It's better than what just... Blo Blo Blobbin did. 
Thank you, John. Yeah, Thank you. Exactly. You, you know who that is? That's the depth psychologist in the trial. John O'Reilly's a lawyer. He's yeah, a do you guys great think dude. That, um, <laughs> do, you, do you guys think that Howard just did that so he can take uh, Ben's watch and wedding ring off? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure. He humped over, he like bent over the, the coffin Listen, and like. Ben was what, 60 feet tall? Off of him? He was probably like 90 pounds when he passed away. I mean, he, he, he said he was 6'2 um, and like 140. So, I had a clip that was a little bit late in the game, actually, about, about five minutes ago. Um, thank you so thank much. Thank you, River. River. Ooh, my man, River man. Asheron yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me figure out which one it is now. Uh, when he was dying. All right, just give me a second, guys, because we literally just clipped this like two seconds ago. So I wonder if Beth wore her smart hooker glasses. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So actually, they were going over who was at the funeral, and Beatrice's name did not come up. No, of I think not. she 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 uh, turned no. her ankle. Oh, maybe. No, it would No, he said. Okay, let's look. At that. I, have it. I have it. I have it. I have the clip. Yeah. Let's okay, play. roll let's the tape. Second, let's let's roll the tape. Let's listen to him dying because Howard obviously wasn't there for this. So let me see if I have this right. Just give me a okay. second. Physical bullshit. Like these hospice workers are telling me a lot of times this happens. He's waiting. And that's still going to move her to go over there. Wait, it was about basically that his mother absolutely under no circumstances whatsoever did she want to go see Ben in the hospice. She said, no, I'm absolutely not doing that. But it's oh. actually, God bless her soul, to uh, um, bring Ray out. and me, uh, Ashley. Is it? And this is the first time in hospice history where it's about the waiting. Like he's Tom Petty. It's the hardest part. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what hospice is. It's all about the waiting. When is it not is about that? the waiting? Hospice literally is they shoot you up with morphine, morphine and fucking kill you. I mean, uh, yep. Don't let it kill you, Ben. Don't, don't go let it get to you. Don't <laughs> let it kill you, Ben. Like a week or don't two. let it get to you. Yes, that Sorry. is a miracle. All right, Hillary, let's look at this. Ashley, who's a nurse practitioner, she went over to my mother's butt. She went over to my daughter, Emma. And they said, Grandma. We're going to go see Grandpa. And Ashley knows how to go. Grandma, we're going to go see Grandpa. Oh, I can't believe she's bringing kids on my prominence. And, uh, well, because she's a hero. And while yeah, rest, she went over to see my dad. Spent an hour over at the hospice. A couple hours later, my father was dead. I bet you nobody was with him when he died. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you. I'm a dirty cocksucker. I bet you he was by himself. I bet you Ben died alone. Because you know what? He didn't mention that anybody was there when he died. Dennis just made a great point too. I thought yeah. he only brings the kids proper names up when there is a braggadocio yeah, thing he can crowbar like with. Uh -huh. it. My that's a great point, Dennis. That's yeah. absolutely well, true. Cross the board. That they were listening you, today as well. Yeah. Think, uh, yes. 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 Yeah. Good point too, Monique. Yeah. Do you think uh, Ben's last words were, "Ashley, get the pillow off my face. I can't breathe." <laughs> <laughs> yes, hospice is waiting by definition. It is, <laughs> really good. Yeah. is that is that the pillow Howard bites? Actually, exactly. <laughs> why didn't he, the thing is, why didn't he get Emily to just call God to fucking resurrect him? Uh, <laughs> oh, please, I guess to correct me. Okay, so you can live under hospice for quite some time. My friend's mom has been living in it for for months now. My grandmother lasted forty days. Yeah. Like, yeah, but Hurry up. the meter's happens. running. Hurry up. The hospital can no longer do anything for you. That's when they move you into hospice, and it may or may not be your time at that point. But but they will try everything they can to, to kill you at that Friendly. point. Have you ever been long. to one, Mo? Um, no, actually. I, it's You walk in, and it smells like fucking like formaldehyde. Yes. It's right. Really it smells like death, creepy. right? And cleaning. Totally. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. All you, it's like just disinfecting and like. And, and you know there's so much death in that. It is, it is pretty gnarly. <laughs> it smells yeah. like Bella Lugosi. <laughs> Gary, Gary Puppet. <laughs> Emily played a song of hers and Ben died immediately. <laughs> uh, yeah. Vintage oh, GP. That's perfect. All right, so let's go on. And I think we might be jumping around a little bit because we do. <laughs> Tim, Tim, Tim Sullivan breaking my balls. Isn't God a buckwall client? <laughs> <laughs> then it's looking yes. at no, and then we'll find it out later on. <laughs> All right, so let's listen to who attended the funeral, shall we? Yeah. Oh, so his mother did not go to the funeral, and now Dennis is making a point that he didn't mention Beth either, so let's hear what he said. Hmm. We the coffin. My daughter did the service, so it was just me, the kid, my nieces, my sister, of course, and my brother-in-law, and uh, a lovely woman named Ava, who was taking care of my dad for a long time, and I think uh, the man from Carter Vince, he was there, and uh, I think that was it. Yeah. Who else was there? Oh, right. Cousins, uh, Julian Ricky. No beef. 
no she, hurt her ankle again. Listen, that's the move. They, they, need, they need to go see the veterinarian already. Exactly. Oh, uh, Pete, you're so more right. likely Beth, Beth can't be around Emily. I have a many pity. I can't be going to fucking funerals. I can't rid of my beast thing. It can hardly walk. It's just a but, little limp right now. But you know, the thing is, I, I, I you know, what I found kind of odd, and, and it, it is kind of odd that like Allison wasn't there. And I know they're divorced, but Allison knew Ben and Ray from. Yeah, right. I, I thought she was time. closer with them than Howard was at a certain point. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. They're, they're, yeah. I mean, oh, see, sketchy. He did die, so there. Um, he mentioned you're right. something about Ray being there to hold his hand, like he was out for days. But when she got there, he woke up for a bit. Hey, I listen. You know, <laughs> Thank you, David. David. Look at David's uh, joke. Yeah. <laughs> I bet Mary Delabate tripped down the stairs as a revenge <laughs> to count. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Okay, so we got <laughs> these gentlemen made sure to cover up the service and burial. Now someone needs to call the county to get a death certificate for the date. Oh, that's way too deep of a dive for me to even give a shit about. To be <laughs> uh, okay, go ahead. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's see what the aftermath of a funeral is. Now, anybody who has had a parent die knows that this is the common practice, like like what he's talking about, and how fucking busy he was with this. This is when my father passed away. It took me all of an hour. Here we go. Why are you busy with the will? Like, why, is, why are you busy with, with the will? Unless he made you the executor of the will, which, okay, I didn't think about before, but why are but you so, even what, so busy with the will? How much could he have possibly had? You know, what, what's he leaving? What's he leaving and to who? I mean, who cares? Okay, wait, hang on, hang on. I hang think on. his legal team on retainers. Yeah, is busy with the law. exactly. Yeah, Do you yeah. think he went to the pockets for change? Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, listen, listen to him talking. And then if my mother needs money from the bank, I, you know. Why does your mother need money? She's 96 years old. She's not going anywhere. And she has like three exactly. people hired help that are sitting in her house. So why oh. would your mother need money? And now this is so you get I need to get a bagel. Like you know, everything about it, you know, like like my dad, you know, had me as like a co uh co on his bank account. I was mm -hmm. like his proxy, so I knew everything he wanted. And you know, his father Ben was of sound mind, kind of for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I mean, at least going into ninety, he was of sound mind. Yeah, sure, he was a little deaf, but not really sickly. Um. So, <laughs> I don't understand how this, like the plant, what, what, what? Is there Son a... of Overbrook, Howard puts the fun in funeral. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very Walk good. Away. Very good. <laughs> that's, that's great. All right. So listen, so listen to all the stuff he has to do. Don't ask. I'm going to go to the bank of my father's dad. I have to prove, you know, whatever investments my father had. I have to, you know, it's like I'll kind of get 12 death certificates from the funeral home. Gutterman. Yeah. Can you mention Gutterman just one more time? Because it's free. Yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> yes, Judy Tanuda. We're not supposed to know he's a multi billionaire and makes four thousand dollars a minute. Wait, wait, we're, we're I got everything. To... So wait, wait. So but best of all though, remember him ranting about how Ben was an idiot and didn't know how to get ready for retirement and whatnot? If he was such an idiot, why does he still have assets? Exactly. He's Ninety nine years old. Still has assets. Still has assets. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask what goes on. Don't ask. In my life. I'm so oh, busy. Yeah. Don't don't show. This radio show. I should be <laughs> busy tending to my mother's needs. So, yeah, uh, exactly how much was yours to do? Like, seriously, what are we talking? How much could Ben possibly have had left over at 99? <laughs> He may still know. have had stuff over, but it'll be like in one. It'd be one place at that point. One place. One place. Oh, sorry. I have to throw my AC on. It's got hot in here. Oh. There's no oh. way you're getting out of this Even without this him painting himself as a professional victim and this high yes. maintenance thing. He had to spend seventy days. And who? He didn't even say when he actually died. We, for all we know, it could have been fucking June. It could well, have been no, all the way in early his birthday. Did have his, they did have his birthday. They celebrated his birthday. He died at 99. His birthday was July 11th. Yeah. So he was still alive during July. And then the Dan's paper thing came out in August. So sometime between his birthday and then, obviously. Um, so in that month span, he uh, yeah. kicked the bucket. He kicked it. Um, should we talk about the secret eyeball thing? Yes. I think I have. Okay, yeah, so let's go, let's this go is to the eyeball. The most time this is really messed time. up. So, so his dad was a whack packer. 
Yeah. Like officially a Class side, Ben. You can't fucking. I mean, come on. A rose is a rose, right? Class side, Ben. How about the radio show? Howard and Ben have a radio show, Crazy Eyes and Glass Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sammy Davis Howard and the Marble Eye coming at you this morning. <laughs> Let's play a little bit of this. Hopefully, hopefully I have it queued up right. If I you don't, know, I've seen a so. thousand pictures of them, which I was actually real. Let's do, well, well, let's like, can you can figure that out. Sizes, Dennis, can you sizes. pull up a, a picture and we can see? All right, hold on, let me find a ben, a ben Stern <sighs> picture. Yeah, dead end dust. Good call, Kenneth Keith Callenback blowing smoke out of his eyes. <laughs> oh, that's right. Combine oh, no, the two. So Good call, dead end. <laughs> All right, let's listen and see if we can hear this. I never talked about this on the air before, but my father, you know, my father had so many admirable traits, honestly, that uh, that I, I, I admired greatly. That um, my father was handicapped, and I never spoke to you know this. He never spoke about it. My father had glass eyes. And um, does that mean he gets like a parking sticker so that he can <laughs> like Nathan's? No, what kind of handicap that means that? that Howard could skull fuck him while he was still alive. Oh, <laughs> oh. thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, I think so. I think I figured it out. My father really X and man had a relationship close. with me where he talked to me. And called me son. And said, "How are you?" It was a very cold relationship. And, and I go, "Fuck you!" Why the fuck are you cold? Sorry, sit down. This is how I was around. And uh, nothing about his life. I told you, never. And called me son. And said, "How are you?" It was a very cold relationship. And I remember when I was a little boy. I must have been. I don't know how old. Maybe I'm gonna say somewhere between five and seven. There was a kid on my block who came up to me, and he says, "Hey, your father has a glass eye." And I go, "Fuck you, you fucking moron! What are you talking about?" And I beat the shit out of this prick. No, no, I didn't. no you didn't. I didn't. You've never because beat anybody in your entire I'm life. Not. Nope. Mm -hmm. I was so upset. Oh my I, god, you guys are so cute as a chorus. No, 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 we nope. didn't. No, no, no. Like I said earlier, not. Yeah, he beat up a 13 year old right. when he was 45. Yeah, so, all right, here's, here's Ben. Columbus I have Ben Stern. As well. That's another one I need to know, says Steve. Sorry, so I have I have a Ben Stern picture. Okay, coming up. And can you um close up on that a little bit for us? I'll try I'll try to zoom, 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 zoom. Yeah, zoom, yeah. zoom, zoom. Let's go back to my room. All right, so. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> Keep that's going. it. That's like that's, that's like weird. Because is that all you can do then? That's good. That's it. That's all I got. Well, here's the thing: if you have a glass eye, the glass eye doesn't move. It's always is stationary. While the other, uh, and he is looks it, like his both his it, eyes are focusing the same. There's better than no beef. detectable problem there whatsoever. But it, but it takes a 13 year old in the neighborhood that nobody knows anything about this glass <laughs> eye except yeah. this circumspect, I, cynical 13 year old that brought it to Howard's attention. Yeah, that's. I exactly. don't see but, any. I don't see a glass eye there. I have a friend that has a glass <laughs> eye. No, it's like look at Sammy Davis is a classic example. Yeah. One eye is always eye, like moving around, the other one's stationary. He has less wonk than Beefus does. I mean Oh <laughs> sorry ladies, he's taken. If that's a glass <laughs> eye, sign me up. Better than my vision. I'll switch eyes with him any, any uh, His eyes are like they're fine. They look normal. <laughs> <laughs> you know the telltale will be if we revisit glass at some point eye. that video where they do Turn. the meet the sterns. Because you can see his eyes moving, so if both his eyes are moving, <laughs> then that's like the Bruder story. Yeah, hold on, let me see if I can get a close up on this. <laughs> we'll put a Zabruder film on that one. Yeah, let me, let me see if I can do this. He's going to be in TLC okay. replacing Left Eye Lopes. Exactly. <laughs> I, okay. see, that one maybe, like yeah. one of those Which eyes. One, is not like the I'm other. not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. They're they're kind of focused. They're still looking they're in the same direction beef. though. Hey, he's got the best eyeballs money can buy, so I'm pretty sure <laughs> that, um, it's going to be something, you know, that he would, you know, Howard probably consulted with the expert on like eyeballs, but that's weird. So the president it. So yeah, let's call the handicap, but you wouldn't know it, right? Sandy Duncan at a glass eye, Monique says. No, so I was obsessed with that because um, I remember Jeremy. my father took us to see Peter Pan when I was a very young child, and he said to me, you know. Andy Duncan, who's playing um, Peter Pan in this, has a glass eye. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I didn't <laughs> understand what that meant. Yeah. She didn't. She was born without an eye. And so they made an eye for her. And that's that's the eyeball that she had. I'm like, that's not true. Like, I, I just didn't understand that. It's the only reason yeah. I remember it is because he also told me that cars used to be able to, like, um, go in the water as well. But Yeah, and, that's an uh, amphibian car. Actually, there was one. Okay. Cindy Lou Who is Jeremy Harrelson that made the Sandy Duncan reference, and Monique, uh, you know, drafted onto it with a phenomenal story. I didn't make the I just read the chat. Okay, I don't want to. Cindy Duncan, hold on. It says that sizzle chest. 
<laughs> I mean, maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure <laughs> Valerie out. Valerie Harper maybe. out, Sandy Duncan. Little Hogan family reference, Beth's principal. I love it. Oh, my God. Okay, Sandy Duncan. Let's see if we can see this. Eyeball. Sandy Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Eads yeah, making I fun of himself. Even, I have not even spoken since I'm probably like six years old. Okay, let's see if we can spot the eyeball. Here we go. <laughs> oh wow wow yeah it's, again it's looks the great on, i the, can't it tell would be her right eye the one on the right yeah yes it's, it's, it looks good her right yeah yeah her right side right. yeah because the, the, yeah there's a big difference between oh, the two eyes this is I think, almost uh, creepy in a westworld sort of way i don't know tim duncan creepy. donated his eyeballs to her <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, Sandy Duncan lost her eye as an adult. She was on a TV show at the time. Oh, tell me more, Rupert Pumpkin. That's got to be Hogan family, right? Uh, no, you think? It might. I mean, that's all through the eighties. She and lost her eyeball in the Hogan is... family. How depressing. I don't know. I don't. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, yes. maybe before <laughs> that. <laughs> Christ, I, I may be an addict. And somebody tell me the story because maybe I'm wrong on this too. But didn't David Bowie get into a little a fight when he was like a kid and he got hooked with like a hanger in his eye and that's why one eye is a different color than the other one? Oh, tell I me don't that know. story too, because that's like a fucked up story as well. I'm not really sure if I'm I'm correct on this. Mm -hmm. Could be. And Tiger Lily says he's telling the truth about the eye. He's lying that he beat someone up. He screamed at them like a little girl. Got pushed to the ground and cried to mommy when he got home. Yes, that's exactly how it happened. It, it's, it's, like, you know, it's like that uh, yeah, Geronimo. He, Geronimo. I remember being 15, let alone five. So they're they're like the airwolf. Like of... <laughs> <laughs> it's Joey like that Antoine. Adam Sandler song. Turkey sweet and potato pie. Howard Stern's father only had one eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sandy Duncan, she lost sight in her left eye due to a tumor behind the eye, which damaged the opti optic nerve. Despite rumors, she does not have a glass eye. It's not a tumor. Oh, so she's blind. Okay, so my father fucked oh, up. Oh, she's blind. God okay. damn it, Dad. That's, that makes sense. Fucked up again. You, you should have poked her eye to just make sure. Bowie really was blind. punched and blew out his iris. Then, then he, he blew, blew Jagger. Jagger. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was coming. <laughs> you can't not bring him up without gay sex and McJagger. It's like saying you can't mention Richard Gere without a gerbil. You just can't. That's right. That's exactly right. Gear in the gerbil. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going. Um, oh, okay, so this was interesting. So he then decides to talk about whether or not Ray would move in with him, which I found to be such oh. a curious conversation considering the fact that he brings up that they just talked about it today. Of all days, today, right? Here we go. Yeah. Whatever you need, Howard, because I I just live to serve. That's all. I just live to fucking serve. Yeah, she's she's gonna push back on that. Yeah, that's I'm sure that's gonna happen. Oh yeah, exactly. Right. As if that's gonna happen. Bye anyway. bye Instagram. You know she figures she'll curry favor because Ben uh, Ray's gonna be dead soon too. Now that Ben's out of the way, Howard can fulfill his edible complex. Yeah, no shit. You're so yeah. right. Ooh, ooh. She's gonna You're take. So, she's so gonna right. take uh, Ray's eye if they move in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if he did have a glass eye, says G Young, Ben never complained about it. This fool gets a sore throat from a slight breeze, and he decides to make everyone around him miserable. Oh yeah, exactly. Let's talk about the bee sting yet again. That that oh. horrible, damaged, fractured foot of Beth's because, you know, she couldn't handle the. Uh, I mean, I, I keep telling people to look away when you look at this, but Beth had to have two IV transfusions, two uh, IV drips, two, two days in a Ooh. row because, well, because of this, look at that, look at that horribly disfigured and, and disgusting, like a football. Has, everybody's pointed out that is not a professional rap. No, it's <laughs> not. not. <laughs> no, it's Those are grape, grape stomping feet. <laughs> if your narrative, if your narrative is you don't leave the house when you're Beth Strionic, you have to make, you'll be attacked by bees because there's no people around. So the next thing that's going to attack you is it. was it a black bee? Bees. I'm just saying. It was a black bee. <laughs> <laughs> rap, by the way. That's probably exactly right. Yeah, that's, a that's not a bandage by any stretch. It was, it was the brown hornet from the Cosby show. Though. I mean, from a... <laughs> Fat Albert and the Cosby Kid. <laughs> it, it was a bee from The Simpsons. I know. <laughs> it was wait, It was a Mex. It was one of the Mex. It was a Mexican killer bee. 
Like from Saturday Night Live. Me gusta el yo -yo muy grande. It was uh, it was Bill Billy West and the Honey Nut Cheerios commercial. Right, <laughs> 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 I don't even know what this clip buzz, is. Buzz. But I'm gonna play it. So fucking. Buzz, buzz. I'm spending a lot of time thinking about my body. I'm consumed thinking about my box. You know. I'm not going to lie. What his body looks like, and like now he's a slab of meat laying on the ground. I'm all fucked up. I'm not joking. I know, I know. Put it over here. That'd be weird. Put it over Jewish reason. He decomposed into a rice cake. I'm at a musel. Oh my god, this is horrible. This is quite the send off, isn't it? You know what? Absolutely. Stop for a second, everybody. Stop for a second. I want you to remember the day after Bianca died and the respect he gave that dog. Yes, good call, actually. You know what? I'll get that clip for tomorrow. How about that? I mean, the words that were coming out of his mouth total devastation. Yeah. So like, oh, she was still warm. And then he got a tattoo was... for her, for fuck's I'm... sake. Yeah. He got a tattoo for Wait. his dog. Yeah. I'm he got get a that. tattoo and, for and then, a cat. Now, we should literally do uh, like a side by side of how he talked about his dog. Oh, and how totally. he's talking about his dad. Yes. It's yeah. like, it's good just idea. two different planets. Yes. Yeah. You're Absolutely. so right. Good idea. Yeah, I, I meant to bring that up to you, John. I, I just didn't want to trouble Was that 2012? We'll, we'll find it. We'll find it. Oh, no, I can definitely get it. I'm just trying to remember yeah, what year. Let's do a some... quick little review. I think it's 2012. Just, I mean, talk about douchebag. The, the dude that did everything for him gets a fucking a fuck you uh, send off. Constant fuck you. Bianca was just Constant like, fuck you. He's been fuck youing him all yeah, year long. In fact, to, uh, look up tomorrow. We're part, throwing out another in case you missed it. Oh, um, right. Talk about Howard and, and all the shit and... he said about his father. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put that up tomorrow. Wait, wait. Right, let's go into Robin. Yeah, go ahead, Dan. So, wait, I, I have I have a thing. I have just an incredible memory here. This throw this up on the screen. Okay. Tell me when. Uh, hold on, I'm getting to it. Soon. Share screen. Do, 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 do. do, do. You know what though? Oh, right. doing that. So how come Beth can save Yoda's heart and but she couldn't save it ends. Ben. Yeah, well, you know. All right, it's up. Okay, zoom it in. All right, hold on. Zoom it in because this is hilarious. Zoom it in, baby. Zoom it in. Zoom it in. Zoom it in. Zoom it in. Okay, good. There you go. There we go. There's the ashes. That's where Bianca's ashes are. So this was what are like, they, like a little packet like this big in that giant fucking urn? Or are they gonna exactly. put that in? The well, it would be it would probably be about about the size of like a small loaf of bread. I mean, that was a pretty you, fat. You dog. know they ripped her off. You know those are like some ashes oh, from someone's they just zigzags. Like swept up whatever dog it was. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a little bit of spark like a, tea, a little bit of summy. Marble marble lights. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But, uh, so, but this is why this does Bianca smell like Swiss or Swiss? <laughs> this was literally just a few days after, I mean, after that, and I mean, just just nonstop with Bianca and the ashes. Did a photo shoot with the did ashes. A photo shoot I, with the ashes. That photo shoot. Yeah. Are we gonna get Ben's furry friends next? <laughs> Ben's furry friends. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. Thank you. Thank you. Let me tell you, Lily. Say use this voice when you say shit like that. Okay, so let's go on a little bit. We'll go away from Ben for just a few minutes here, and let's go talk about Robin. I know you, uh, you went on that summer school thing that Gary was doing while we were on vacation, and you were talking about your, um, your health regimen and diet. Uh, you lost a lot of weight. I see it in your face. You look quite sexy. What's going on? <laughs> I mean, you splutter that shit, man. Well, I mean, well, I, mean, I <laughs> have lost oh my God. pounds when we last were on the air, and I've lost right. 20 more. Okay, so this woman has lost 40, 40. pounds. If I lost 40 pounds, Bullshit. I can't even imagine. I mean, I'd probably look fucking amazing and emaciated, which would probably be like amazing. But that's hard. Um, but 40 pounds is a goal. lot of fucking weight. It's a lot. Like, it's a right? lot of weight. Adult goals. But it's a <laughs> lot of weight. 40 pounds well, is a lot of weight. On her? It, it that's like a deck chair on the Titanic. How much exactly. Only way though that she has. That's like that's like the Great Pyramid losing a grain of sand. I bet you the doctors told her, you know what, with your health, you really, you really need to lose some weight. Either that, or she's like, you know, under some sort of. I'm just gonna speculate here, but maybe she's, you know, having some sort of procedures done. I don't know. Is that I Robin think, Quivers uh, or Robin Givens? I can't, I can't tell. tell. I, I think Isn't I think it's the big C. Now? 
She's seventy, right? She looked. She looked like Martin Lawrence in Big Mama's house. Is what she? If you ever got a, a real panoramic shot of her, like that a is panoramic said. shot. <laughs> panoramic. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> thank, you. About that. thank you. Thank you. She looks like Al Sharpton transitioned. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, <laughs> let's go. Oh, that's so horrible. Okay, so this is this is him talking about when he did, in fact, announce it in Dan's papers, and and the way he says it makes you know that he did this. He did this intentionally. You know, yeah. he wanted people to find this and have it leak out, and it's kind of weird in its own Doctor Doom way that yes. he made something intentionally leak out for no good reason whatsoever. Except that he he would have that attention, and he knows you're, he didn't follow the rules of you know saving oh, the whatever. air. You're yeah. so obsessed with me that you found the stepping out magazine of the Hamptons and found exactly. this throwaway line, exactly. and you exactly here we go. I did an interview for Dan's paper. Yeah, which is a little local paper. I'm saying, paper, paper. I don't know what the paper is. Hello, Rascal. Hello, Rascal. Hello, Rascal. What are you working on now? I said, oh, I'm working on the painting papers. No, these old barns. I just lost my father. It kind of reminds me of uh, my father. Like, it, 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 you know, I was being uh, a little emotional. And uh, sure enough, uh, you know, when I said that, I wouldn't even thank you because, first of all, I should have said my father. Yeah, 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 you know exactly what you're doing, Buckwall. Well, I'm not excited anywhere else. But, you know, we were on summer vacation and I was just, you know, just my father. I just lost my father and it was on my mind. Yeah, that's all. Uh, so I broke the rule and I. By the way, fuck face, by the way, you know, the idiot from Dan's papers never did a follow up question. So, you know, no, no. That the whole know. thing was, was and not only that, one of our recent shows, uh, we made reference to the fact that, like, even weeks after that article hit, Google had like five people picked up on it. That's it. And none of yep. them, were, none of them were major, like, no TMZ. It was nope. all like the penny saver type of. Throwaways. Mm -hmm. So for him to say that there was buzz, no, there wasn't. That's no, there wasn't bullshit. any buzz until we did a, a, a thing on it. We did an yeah. emergency podcast on it that night. That's, that's shockingly, right. Shockingly, everybody and then, that, and, like, yeah. on it. And then the vultures of the internet picked it up. Yes, of course they did. You're so I right about that too, Monique. No, no follow-up question. You, you know, my dad just passed away. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, whatever. Oh, sure, okay. Like, there's no, oh, there's oh, no, yeah. right, right, sure. Yeah, 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 exactly. it's, it's so preposterous. Like, he said that, a, and the dude's like, oh, is that cross hatch you're using that, Damien? Like, yeah, exactly. Did you use a sepia tone on that? Is yeah, that yeah. yeah is, is that the pastels? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> Seriously? He just said his dad died, and he's like, yeah, but they they know. Know. like anywhere else on the planet, right. you know, no, if you don't know who Howard is, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't give a shit. I'm sure the guy is like 32 years old, could give a shit, the, you know, the, that, who the fuck is Howard Stern's father? Like, who would like, care? Your dad was still alive. Exactly. Who is he a thousand? <laughs> of course, then um then of course Robin asks the uh classic question. It's sad, man, it's awfully sad. So I've been pretty sad actually. Yeah. On the radio. Uh, uh, and uh, what I would call a, a normal response. Yeah. And I don't even know okay. how I um would have dealt with this if we were doing the radio because it was there were so many details. I mean, the way you talked about your house before. Did you continue to work? That's the question. Yeah, probably. That was my father's way. You did not miss work. Duh! You don't have a work ethic with your vacation. Later. You're off 85% Wait. of the year. You don't have a work ethic. Stop. Stop. Just so stop. If Ben, if ben so died, uh, if, if, if he was working and he died on a Wednesday, right, he would he would be dead and buried because they're Jewish one day. He'd be dead and buried before Monday came around. Oh, That's true. They like to get it over with. That Shiva, right? Yep. How long yep. is that usually? Five days? Seven days? No. no it's not one day. No. The goal is like to get it over him. He, I feel right? like it's not going to sit five days. It's not like they didn't see it coming, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like he was Bob Saget yeah, or right. anything. Oh, you're so right. It's not like yeah. he didn't plan for this, right? Yeah. yeah. Dude, what, he you was already, already picked out the casket, to be quite honest with you? He was already in a right. Ziploc bag, dude. All they do is <laughs> <laughs> they, go, they went yellow and blue Emily, and green. What's the toe tag? Let's go. Oh, Emily, God. Emily, Emily's still sitting shiva. Exactly. I think we'll do a nice uh, a mel melodic tone uh, song for him. You know, from words. To be uh, good words, of course. Um, okay, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. so should we get into a little bit of Doctor Doom? Uh, so uh, this let's we're up to that. Um. So you know, had me fooled for about fifteen minutes. I admitted that I was wrong. You know, Xavier made his 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 case. case. 
I think we were both kind of, you know, it was like a little pro and con, but by the end of that, by the end of that podcast, I was like, yeah, you guys are probably right. I, I'll gleefully admit I, I was yeah. wrong. Right? I have no, <laughs> they, li- they lie so much. You might as well just stick by the credo when in doubt. It's a lie. It's a setup. The question it's is yep. why? Why? You know, what did I it do for Marvel? Why to yep. why this was something that they did. And I'd love to hear from the chat what you guys think about why the fuck, why do we care about him doing this? And, you know, it's, after this, it just, it's, it was, there's a precedent for it though. They, they've done it in the past when they were relevant, they would do the, that little fucking cliffhanger before they would go on a vac- on winter break or okay. whatever it was. It was always like, it made the classic, the Lexington steel thing, you know, yeah. it's like, Scott it's, the engineer. he wants, he wants people to talk about him. And this was so lazy, like literally like a fistful of nerds that, that literally do any sort of Marvel related YouTube videos yep. picked up on it. And to him, the whole world was talking about it. Yeah, well, do you remember when he hired um, Leslie Dart, Woody Allen's publicist, when he did the book with 16 new pages, Comes Again, which is stolen from Jackie Martling's album? And from that point on, I noticed he's trying these 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 publicity gimmicks. So her job is to get him PR for these little stick and gimmicks like this and moves he does. I noticed from that point on it's it's little little grenades he rolls in the hen house and we're supposed to fall into these gimmicks and they plant these stories to get him stuff, you know. They won't so I, I think that's just right in line with it. Sin Lu tells us a fun fun sto- fun story. When my dad died, my mother hadn't bothered to get them a gravesite, so she stuck him in with my grandfather. <laughs> my hands were furious. Yeah, I, I can't imagine why they would be. It's like, you know, it's not like they're going to say, get out of the way, move it. Get out of here. Quit it. Robin um, so let's listen to Dr. Doom and find out exactly what goes on here. Here we go. But I do want to leave you with the fact that we did make big news while we were waiting here. Hey, you want to mention this? This is so great to mention because it did exactly what I wanted it to do. For sure. Yes. Yes. Uh, right after our last show in June, there was a hot microphone moment. If you were listening carefully after the, um, after the show, we, the commercials. we ended the show, right? Yeah. Yeah. You overheard the microphone was open and you heard me talking to Robin about the fact uh, that I would somehow be in Dr. Doom this summer. But why? Why did we need? Why? He never answered why. Then. Attention, Har. He started going mm, yes. into like, this whole thing about like, um, um, uh, why can't I think of the word? Like interviewing for it. Uh, just, uh, what's the word? What, give me give me some more content. Con- sounds, like, sounds like. How many syllables? Uh, positioning. So he, he was talking about you know, auditioning on air and he got on with one of the idiots in the back room. And then of course talking he's to Robert Downey Jr. about was, acting. Somehow so, confirmed a doctor. Well, Will Murray's in it too, Moni. You can remember he, he pops in at the end. Put their reactions online. Here's just a little sample from I, I YouTube YouTube and find the person ever. I bet you the Howard Stern. I he's gonna be pissed with this. By the way, not a woman in the bunch in those Howard Stern is going to have a pivotal this is all up. I'm really hoping that he's diverse. That's, I really, I'm a good. He's something, but not Dr. Doom. And you know what? Fuck you to everybody because <laughs> I, I hate to toot my own horn, but you guys put me in this position all the time. I would be oh, an excellent no. Dr. Doom, number one. No. If I should take no. the role. If I should take the role. Was this no. offered to you? Is anybody thinking at Disney yep. that Howard Stern is the right. right guy for any role? As Maybe I pointed Dr. out in the mockery thread. He can't even play himself in his own movie 25 <laughs> years ago. He I mean, can't even walk down the stairs on Ellen. How's he going to play Dr. Doom? Like, play play, do, play Dr. Dream. Agus first. Exactly. Yeah. It's just, it's just so bizarre. What is in it for Marvel? You have no audience. They, you don't think Marvel's looking at the fucking social media numbers you have exactly. with 14,000 people when you interview Gwyneth no, Paltrow? Why would they need you? They, they're not looking at his social That's the whole point. Nobody's looking at his social media. Nobody. They, yeah. He thinks because Downey's his buddy somehow. And this isn't even – the doctor – they're making a fantastic – for if this thing ever existed, it would be some drop-in stupid cameo appearance where he's interviewing like Reed Richards <laughs> and something would be 30 seconds if that if that exists. It doesn't exist. Yeah. But, no, but, it doesn't exist. But, it's bullshit. Like we all said in the listening thread, why? Why did he do this? Why did he do this? He wants us to talk. be buzz, but why? Why that? Why How'd that? How did that work out? It didn't. It didn't. It, didn't. it was like, like people, you know, there was nothing to talk about. Well, like, like within surgery. 24 hours, it was done. The way our world works right now, we are in a TikTok civilization. So, right? Wait a minute. Undo something in 30, That's 45 right. seconds. That's it's right. It's done. It's flicked right through it. Right through. So you say So you say 67 days later, it just didn't hold up, huh? 
in 60, two months, seven, two yeah. months. In 67 hours. Oh my God. He played countless clips. I mean, he went on for like a, an hour with the Dr. Doom thing. Countless it, clips. He actually, yeah, the show should have ended and he kept going. Yes, and I'm like, yes. please, for the love of Christ, stop. So, so as he's wrapping up today, and this is just a portent oh. of things to come. So oh. he didn't even oh. say goodbye, really. He said, you know, all right, we'll say tomorrow, I guess, whatever. It's too cool to say goodbye. Yeah. And then. Too cool. And then here's the promo that comes on. Like, oh, this is fabulous. This is just so fucking ridiculous. Here we go. Promo. This Somebody paid somebody to do this, and it was very important that we know it. Bo's ultimate question. Are you serious? Only on the Howard Stern Show. Ah. Okay. I would Ooh. say his back staff is the worst caller to the show. In terms so, of <laughs> how they ended the show. So... It, it, the, the, I mean, uh, Bobo is supposed to be radio death, but he's he is a, 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 a he's a piece of content. They it's can't do it without him. So, so is Marianne. They awful. can't do it without him. But you know, speaking of callers, but, dead. If I could just dance back to the actual show, he he had he took phone calls today, phone calls, quote unquote, you know, uh, electric eel calls. Three of them. Yes. Three women. Yes. Three women called. Right. No men. No men called in. Job, some other bullshit. Aldi yeah. says for Marvel TV show, they might have him play some minor cameo. That could be too, right? Just, no. No, that, no but he yeah. wouldn't do it. He, he Got to leave the house for that. Important enough for him. Right. To leave the house. Got to leave the house. a cameo in some TV show never happened. Exactly. No, not for a TV show. Not yeah. even on Disney Plus. He would he never. He thinks their know. shows are beneath him. That's yeah, how no. gassed up his plug head is. He thinks their huge TV shows are beneath him. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, how do you give that? What, how would that Wiz and Mortis be, be like... able to handle 10 hours of shooting? No. Exactly. Well, it was so weird the way that went down because, again, like, expect us to listen to all the way through. He had gone to a break and they signed off. Will Murray comes in. We've heard some hot mic bullshit with them in the early days of really? COVID where they didn't. So we kind of like was somewhat fooled. I will Not never, me. ever be fooled again. No, you totally. Me, I will. He's lying all the time. I'll never believe another thing. That yep. is... How do you know Howard's lying? His mouth's all... moving. Yes. His mouth is moving. Yeah. I'm going to be their devil's accountant. So, <laughs> thank you, uh, Reacher. So, should I play the clip that Johnny Pat uh, sent to me kind of last no. week? Um, and then we'll end with um, our new September calendar as the oh, calendar. Okay. And he promised me that oh I wouldn't goodness. watch it before it was time. So, let's end with that. So, let's do the um. Um, Pat McAfee thing. All right. I got this from uh, in the Deppening chat. Uh, I think it was Hooper or uh, Pellel that told me Pat McAfee's he got got um excess from Sirius. He had a contract Jesus. negotiation and they wouldn't release the numbers. This guy gets massive, massive listeners, and you know it's a Howard thing because he's going to go whoa, whoa, whoa. So Howard takes all the money. Pat McAfee and Howard coming wow. back is not coming back to Sirius, and he's got a massive show on the Mad Dog Channel. And so this so was from the New York Post. So, I mean, so serious. I'm trying to figure out their business plan here. So you get rid of all the other talents so you can keep the Barstool Sports, talented. Dennis. Yeah, same know, same deal. Same Barstool deal. Sports is yep. humongous. Massive. Barstool, it was like a weird Who thing going on, though, with Barstool. And you notice now Barstool is, like, bigger than ever. They started their own gambling site. They're Monique, like, it was just oh, like this. It was yeah. just like this. Same, yeah. same. It's it, it, DraftKings is involved, be. and how did you say Howard read a DraftKings uh, yes, promotion? Yes, that was a that was their thing. So they Howard stole their DraftKings. Uh, Meanwhile, mm -hmm. TV is a more right. watch medium than film now, but he doesn't understand that. Yeah, no, he does not. They no, he doesn't. Tell me, it was like three dollar movie theater weekend this weekend, like across oh. the country on Sunday. Apparently, all theaters were offering three dollars, and that's why Maverick is now like number six in all time viewing of all time. Although five, that's one of those movies you have to see on a big screen. So I yes. can understand people wanting to see that when it was kind of shitty outside. Most movies say wow. shit, so. You know. Yeah, well, yeah, but you know what? It's 113 degrees in California. I, I might go to a movie theater and be mm. nice and yeah, funny. Might, they, yeah, might turn the thermostat off. I think so. All right, so here we go. So this is Johnny, I think, is reading to us. <laughs> yeah, 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 Mr. Feeney. does on the deafening, which I love. Um, so I, I don't know. It's easier, Monique. I didn't feel like having you read a story at the end of the show. No, so I thought it was easier that. to just, you know what I mean? Play it. All right, so here we go. Let's, let's do it. From the New York Post, the <laughs> Pat McAfee show on Sirius XM is parting ways. They, quote, never made an offer 
by Joseph Stazuski and Andrew Marchand. The Pat McAfee Show will be looking for a new radio home. McAfee told the Post that the show's time at SiriusXM is over at the network. They, quote, never made an offer to continue our partnership. There are no ill feelings between the two. Yes, I'll bet, Mr. McAfee. Chris <laughs> Matt Arvin broke the news of the split, saying McAfee and SiriusXM parted ways amicably. According to Sports Illustrator's Jimmy Trainer, on Monday, McAfee's show, which has become a regular home for Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers, which is huge. has been broadcast on SiriusXM's Mad Dog Sports Thank you, Radio Ryan. from noon to 3 p.m. since September of 2020, while also being streamed on YouTube. It's become a massive hit as the 35-year-old McAfee, a former Colts punter, turned media darling, signed a $120 million wow. deal with FanDuel Holy Sportsbook God. last December to sponsor the show. Dollars. McAfee's yes. all great two-year run. Jesus Christ. Well, Sirius doesn't provide any information on who or if anyone listens to us. True. So all of our business agreements with our other fantastic partners has been done strictly off our YouTube and social media presences. So it legitimately affects nothing other than we won't be able to be listened by whomever was potentially listening. How big is big? What are we talking here? This guy's getting millions and of, of he's massive. I can't believe it's bar it's barstool sports esque, and it, I think a lot of people in chat know more about his. He's in the wrestling culture, likes him. He's bringing in all this very politically incorrect, very just very barstooly. He might even went them at some point. And Howard is threatened by any of these entities. You can't have anybody that's making him look bad because all these people do. Mm. They're so all yeah, Pat, Pat McAfee the, has so, almost two sports million Rogan? subscribers. Sports Rogan, that's good, Tiger. Yeah, good. Pat Pat, Pat, Pat McAfee has almost two million subscribers on YouTube. I mean, God geez, damn. Huh? Oh my God, I mean, we were almost Jesus. there. <laughs> yeah, we were close. We were almost there. Hey, John. Yeah. Can you do one with the Lindbergh baby missing next? Yes. Listening. <laughs> <laughs> Sirius XM McAfee told the post. I've heard from some of our serious listeners today on social and in our YouTube comments, but I'm very grateful for those that listen to us on XM. I took a lot of pride in being a host. Well, see, he was an XM person. Picture. Well, he just said XM is, I think, is slang. I have okay. no clue how many folks listen to us on Sirius, though. <laughs> but I appreciate them all for taking a chance on us. We'll continue <laughs> to move forward and hopefully continue creating a you product. You know what? It's a blessing. Worth probably make a shit time while McAfee them. told the okay. post, they've spoken to a few places about the housing, that audio-only version of the show, which only was 5% of the McAfee show revenue while it was on Sirius wow. XM. Yeah, this partnership wow. with FanDuel could provide at least one potential avenue. The FanDuel group announced last week that it's intent to launch the FanDuel TV network in the OTT platform Holy FanDuel shit. Plus in September. McAfee's PMI platforms. network will be producing content for the FanDuel network. What? McAfee seemed excited for whatever the next chapter even brings. Find way is celebrated, not way you tolerated, McAfee tweeted. Makes life a lot easier and more fulfilling. Thank you, Mr. McAfee. You I go. liked, I tell you, New how York Monique Post, oh, the sorry, sorry. Oh, it's, it's just restart. <laughs> how can you get away with that with advertisers not producing statistics? I am only in Howard's it. world. It I, is crazy what they get away with. It is but crazy what happens. Show you, if somebody like that with millions of viewers can be shit canned from Sirius. It just goes to show you their business model is so in the fucking dumpster. It's a yeah. dumpster fire. Yeah, thanks. Because of Howard. And I, even Barstool sports, sports go like, how do you how do you let that happen? If and you have to know behind the scenes that probably uh, um uh the other it? executives. No, no, no. Who's the guy whose sports channel he's like under? The banner? Russo, Russo. Oh, no, yeah, bad dog. He had to have been like pissed. pissed. I know. No. I know. I know. I know. It drove so much traffic to his his oh, uh, his exact. That's a great point. That's a really good. Point. If you were Dave Portnoy, Monique, and if you were Pat McAfee, how livid would you be in these neg You would just be mental. Like I'm showing you the statistics. This is what I get. This is what I get. Show me what Stern does. And let's and and, and you, of course, Show who would negotiate like that? Show me what yep. I do. I know. I know. What I do on this channel, let alone what Tommy does. It's all smoking fucking mirrors. Really, it's it's crazy. crazy. 
And you know what? Sirius has the technology. We all know this. They've had it for years. To know numbers. Do. Dennis, they knew it in the 90s. As you say, well, Dennis, the worst run company in the history of the universe. Sirius. Well, it's, it, the worst world, like, it's the worst world company they, in the world. Yeah. Weren't, weren't, weren't they company. like driving the fact that you can listen to it on the internet? So if you're on the internet, exactly. you can 100% know how many people yeah. are fucking tuning in. Exactly. There's, zero There's a thousand zero metrics. I feel like the whole thing is just pulling the fucking wool over people's eyes. So I get a letter in the mail this weekend. Well, I've been having problems. I had like a big bank issue that Xavier is well aware of because I've been bitching about it for fucking months with T-Mobile and they wound up canceling my card. So P.S. I get this letter from Sirius saying, hey, you didn't pay your bill last month and we're basically Uh canceling you and by the way um you owe us for last month's service 22.99 i'm like <laughs> <laughs> good luck <laughs> get in line i'm like what world am i in that i pa- i paid 22.99 a month what is wrong with you what world no, you are I, so I literally is- put a piece of tape on my monitor here to make a point of as soon as as i could to just call them and so i, I got on the chat with you know rajmish and I don't, really, I don't really think I need this anymore. And I, I think I'm going to cancel. No, it. but they will kill me if you cancel. It's a, oh, yeah, well. exactly. Please, I have a family to feed on this. <laughs> they are going to take my thumbs. Let me see thumbs. what I can do. They will take my thumbs. You ready? $6.99. Yeah, they, they should be paying uh, you. Six ninety nine for twelve months. I'm going to load note in my calculator. That much? My calendar. Seven CDs. Ninety nine. I, I I pay less than five. <gasps> they will take my thumbs, Dennis. They will take my thumbs. <laughs> Please let my go. <laughs> Wait, okay. Do you have to have internet with it too? You have Bro, regular you're paying internet? more than for serious and fucking HBO Max and like uh, <laughs> and like Netflix. Man. Jesus, that's crazy. But I needed it for today. So what was I supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> I can give you one of my. I have a few. I well, only pay like a few. Like I only pay like and John Cher and you know <laughs> he called me. Mr. Stern had to pay for a funeral, you heartless <laughs> wench. <laughs> bon Jovial, oh. want to get the Bon Jovial. All right, it's time. It's time to review the calendar now that we are at the end of the night. So let us okay. I haven't watched this. We haven't and none of us have seen this, so no, none of us have seen this. I just this literally downloaded it and uploaded it onto the people. Don't be wrong. Right. I'm ready. Wish us luck. Let's go to the calendar. September. Touche. <laughs> Touche. Well, okay. So, total inside joke. Um, right. that. Let's oh. go to the calendar. September. <laughs> of course, he uses Sam. He's got to use an Australian. He's got to use Hemsworth. Of course. So you know here what? we are. Here we Let's are. Move on. Cal- yeah, here we are at the calendar. Um, Can I just say, from January third to mm-hmm. September sixth, seventeen guests, everyone. And they, I, I heard another Christ. commercial last night where they played a a medley marathon of all the huge celebrities that drop in every single show mm. for all you rubes that rent a car. Every show. Who was it that told A-list. us exactly who was coming in? It was like Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. And- Jimmy the Kimmel. Imagine Dragons. Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel's coming to Brooklyn, Dragons. by the way. I figured this out. Jimmy, he's coming to Brooklyn in late September. So I don't. Howard will be in the Hamptons while Kimmel's in Brooklyn. I don't get. Oh my it. god. It's in. Just so you can get in. So I don't know. For some reason, Imagine. Xavier, I think. No, no. Bon Jovi was on the forum talking about his home Nintendo. entertainment system. And so he was taking pictures of it. And so Bon Jovi took that and made it into our no, September. Bon Jovi requested that. And so. Oh. I, no, he, he requested it. And so I obliged him with a little, little videos of my setup. And. That was funny. <laughs> he used it for good and not evil. So it's okay. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We are on September. It's my 6th. home theater, people. That's all. Okay, wow. Fancy fucking pants. 
September 6th is today. So, right. So we have two days this week. And then he has one, two, three, four, five. You know, I never, I never, um, I, I skipped third grade. So I never learned my times tables or anything. So oh. this is the way I count. I know I sound like an idiot. Nice, Brock. Three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15. One, two, two, three, two, four, two, five, seven, two, three, nine, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-six, thirty-nine. Monique, 40, are you allowed to go back and repeat third grade? Forty-seven. Today? No, why would I? There's some wrong. There's, there's something. I feel wrong like you missed this. out. No, this doesn't look right. First of all, there's no. He he wasn't there the week of thanks the Thanksgiving. He, no. Doesn't he get two weeks off of Thanksgiving, Dennis? And uh... yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't. No, Listen, he wasn't there. Oh. I haven't filled anything in. This is not. Oh, okay. This is not retroactive. Oh, it's twenty-two. It's okay. Okay. Oh, it's proactive. Proactive. proactive my She's the old one too. I oh, mean, okay. it, it, I can pull that up real quick before we end. Uh, so I, far, I, it's been I pretty rock slow. solid. Has there been, literally been one day difference between last year and this year? No. 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 Something like that. As no. Benjamin said, every week is Wait. Thanksgiving for Howard. D- 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 yeah, David, the violinist. Jesus Christ, the calendar is full of Thanksgiving weeks. <laughs> that's what that's. David oh, is, a, is a baby Benjamin, by the way. There we go. There we go. There okay, we this go. This is last year's. <clears throat> so going by last year, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 22, 9, 30, 31, 33 shows left. Sorry. I don't think there's that, that many it left. Won't be, it won't be a 33. It won't be 33. You, there's a couple of, of days off there. Just, yeah. Yeah. Don't forget in November you had that bonus show with stupid Miley Cyrus, Elton John, Metallica. Do you guys want to let people in on your Letterman theory, or you want to save that? What are you talking about? The Netflix Letterman theory. Oh, the conversation well, I, we had. Yes, you I want got to save it. it for tomorrow. Um, okay, let's save it for tomorrow because I have a to pretty big. It's a big discussion. I want to cram it in at the end. I like that. No, no, no. Let's bring that up tomorrow and a good point. remind me um, so that I have it uh, pulled up. It's just okay. something that somebody. Um, talk to me about via text message and i don't want to brag but i'm friends with Lori singer on facebook yeah <laughs> <laughs> jealous jealous everyone you are. and uh i she had she posted a picture from dan's papers at a celebrity softball game in the hamptons and yeah. clinton's there and it's a crazy it's a very who's who <laughs> of big wigs no pun intended in the hamptons and that's kind of why howard is so in cahoots with this guy so so howard wasn't playing like first base <laughs> exactly All right okay so um I, I know some people were asking me when i was going to be on um who are these podcasts and that is coming up um i think week after next maybe not sure maybe. is it pre-taped how do they do that show monique do they no, no. Uh, pre- they tape it okay we'll how be, much in advance like is a, a couple days a 90 no, second okay. dump uh no no it'll be good it'll be good i you know i you know you know my rules on stuttering john um not that i'm gonna break them but you know i know my limitations with what i do want to talk about when it comes to john and like i said in one of the threads today if i was ever gonna rip john a new asshole i'm absolutely gonna do it on our own show and not on somebody else's show. Monique, I need to know how the carl hamburger sausage is made you gotta let me in on the secrets you gotta let me know (laughs) Exactly. Oh my God, Monique and Shuli. So the guy I was <laughs> today, Husey, was asking, "Why don't I like Shuli?" I'm like, "Fuck Shuli." He blocks me on all social media. He rips into me about you know just because we did a, like a I <laughs> show, but he yeah, deserved it. I was like, "Yeah." Who, who would deserve it less than somebody who was basically wheeling you know infirm <laughs> people out of the fucking airport who just got so lucky and says he paid his fucking dues? Like, what are you <laughs> uh, Autobot goes, she's gonna sue you, Monique. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Gina, Gina <laughs> Bobina, John show. is a national treasure. How dare oh, you? The gift, the, he's Julie, the gift listen, he was on Jay Thomas and Howard Stern show. Millions of listeners, he's got like 10 views on on every fucking video he does. Is it still going so on his, his podcast? Is it still on? Uh, I wouldn't just, know. know. Well, I'll tell you what, idea. Dennis, it well, is on, because just on, like on, I'm on. Amer- let me pull it up. I'll, I'm going to pull it up well, right let's, now. Let's, let's take a look at the hang numbers. On, hang on. No, no, hang on, hang on. Ready? Okay, let me let me read what River uh, just wrote. Okay, listen. River says I can leave you guys with this as a gay guy. My gaydar is. That's a weird podcast. My gaydar is very spot on, and I have quite the track record. Howard isn't straight. He's not even bi. He's a closeted gay man. I'd bet my life on it. Oh, yeah. 
River, let's get into this one night. You know, you'll 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 call in and we'll chat about he it. Did tell us? Did say today? Why don't we? Trust- one of the fake callers on. One of the fake callers go. I went out with a guy in in high school, and but he was a Capricorn, and he turned out that he was gay. And Howard went. Yeah, well, some, a lot of us are. And, and he, he literally Capricorns just said that. Are gay. Yeah, Capricorn. Yeah. I we have our own. We have our own gay mafia here. How is Capricorn? Because my mother's birthday yeah. is a few days after his. So yeah. What's yeah. So yeah, about? he said yeah. Yeah. He, he actually he basically implied that he he's a mm. he, yeah he's a he putt from the rough. Uh, so he, he plays for the other side. Oh. <laughs> But I, I don't want to. We have our own gay mafia here. Zach and David are both gay, and they both feel he's gay as well. So we're not, he's, I mean, it, it, he, he's not the only one. Yep. Clawing out that closet hard. Right. Um, Sketchy can send me what video? What are we talking about, Radio Gaga? I missed something. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, the show got a major strike <laughs> a week ago with Brent's wife showing up practically naked on cam, and then Brent ate her out off cam. Oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, for I, I, I had a nice yum, dinner. Yum. Please. Dude, I, don't really think, yum, yum. I don't really think I needed to know that. Actually, I did not know. Tiger Lily, uh, um, I'm Capricorn too. Hey, Mo, what are you doing Friday night? <laughs> what do you. <laughs> What do you mean I jumped the shark? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, uh, you know what? That's your guess. It was really good. It was good for business. It was fun. I like Carl. Carl. Yeah. That's who doesn't like Carl? Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. So we're going to leave you now. And that's it for tonight. It was really, it was, it was quite the trudge to get clips together for today. So apologies. In advance. Try to listen to it live. What you are expecting, but we will try this again tomorrow. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So everybody have a great night. And we love you all for joining us. Goodbye. For being here. And I'm trying to find my outro while I'm talking Golden to night. you. Arriba Darcy, we'll cocksuckers. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Generic. Generic. Wow, is, uh... Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at RadioGunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Radio Gunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks.